Okay, so let's look at page 312. Page 312, we're at the bottom, and number one is asking us probability of selecting green. Well, we're not really selecting, but we're using a spinner, a spinner like you use on a board game or something like that. So if I was to hit that spinner, what's the probability that the arrow would land on green? Well, the first thing I have to do is count the equal number of spaces or the equal number of chances. So if you look at the spinner, starting with that green, that's one space, then to yellow, two, the next green is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight total of chances, period. But what's the chances of landing on green? Well, if I know that I have eight spaces and I know that I have two green, then the probability is that two out of eight would be my probability of landing on green with that spinner, two chances out of eight. So let's look at number two. Number two says P. What's the probability of landing on the yellow? Well, look at your book. How many chances total? It's the same for, we're dealing with the same spinner. So we can count them all again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know the total is eight. What about yellow? How many yellows are there? How many chances that I can land on yellow? Well, I only have one. So then my chances would be one out of eight or one eighth. See, very easy. Let's try number three. What are the chances that, or what's the probability that you will land on red? So P, probability of red. How many total? How many total? We know it's eight. It should be in a denominator. And how many red? How many chances to land on red on the spinner? Count it. One, two, three. That's correct. Three eighths is the probability. Three chances out of eight. You can do the rest of those on your own. Please don't forget when you have more than one color, you're just going to add them all together over the total number or equal parts. If you look at page one, oh, excuse me, page 313, what I'll do is erase this. If you look at page 313 at the top, which is the next page over, just glance over, and you're going to see something a little different, but it's the same concept. And basically, they're asking you find the probability of each event. Now you have cards, letter cards. Some are the same. You have D, E, B, D, C, D, C, B, D, D, A, C, right? So for number eight, okay, let's get rid of that. We're on page 313, okay? So for number eight, you have the probability that you will pick the card B, the letter card B. Excuse my letter B. probability of picking the letter card B. So first thing you need to find out how many cards do you have in all. So let's see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 cards in all. Fine, that goes in my denominator. Well how many letter B's do you have cards? How many letter B cards do you have? Count them. How many did you get? Correct. There are two letter B's. So the chances of me picking a letter B card, the probability is two chances out of 12 cards. Let's try number nine, which is P, probability of choosing an E card. Well, how many cards total do we have? Again, we still have 12 cards total. That hasn't changed. But how many E chances do I have? Count them. Count how many E's. Real easy, right? How many? One. So I have one chance out of 12 cards to pick the letter E. So we can continue this uh, continually, but don't forget when you get to number 12, you have A and C. You just add the numbers together. For number 13, what's the probability of picking a B or D? You just add the numbers together, okay? 
and make sure that you read the directions when dealing with certainty that means that's 100 percent okay and impossibility okay mean that it just cannot happen okay so if I have a spinner that has red white and blue and it says will it land on green that's impossible it's never going to happen because there's not even a chance because green is not present I hope this helps and if it's the will of God tomorrow we will review and discuss page 312 and 313 on computing probability or chances or likelihood of selecting or landing on something. Good luck with your homework. Peace.